Greetings, fellow Thrall and Androids. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Android Sanctuary, Episode 5, Robot Ranch. So, we did find uranium over here. And maybe tomorrow morning when it's a little brighter out and I can actually see what the heck's going on, I'll look for more uranium. I think to start, I'm going to do a steel warhammer because my crafting skill is not that high. And uh, it, it would be better for me to get a higher crafting skill before trying for a, a high quality warhammer. I'll reserve the uranium for when I can actually make something nice out of it. So I'm moving around some of these doors. I actually don't even know why I moved that door, but I did. Just so that we can maintain the outside a little bit easier. So this warmer, yeah, let's make it out of steel for now. Iguana self-tamed, you are free. Don't forget to roof the smithy. Well, it's not raining at the moment, and I'll probably be done with this Warhammer before it matters. And I just have to make sure not to hit my uh, XP cap for the day. So the next question is, um, next research. So you guys wanted me to get a ranch, so I'm gonna include the advanced creatures as a, uh, as a possible research. Advanced programming. It's going to be another one. Uh, basic nano kit. Which again is like medicine. Basic enhancements. For robot drugs. I will also add in shields. Transport pods and long range scanning and multi analyzer. There you go. That's a big old research list. Pick your favorite. And I am not max for the day yet. Good. Oh, no, there we go. Max for the day. I'll be back to that tomorrow. Oh, bye bye, simple meal. And then after this, I'm going to ask, after this research poll, I'm going to ask what kind of creatures you want me to ranch. Because there's, um, there's a few options. Or it, we could just do all of the above. I don't, I don't really care. It could be up to you. So there's a little bit more steel here. It's possible we could live in this section and live in this section. They're not very big. They're not big like this. Oh, what the heck? Get out. Oh. How am I going to deal with this? Oh, you, um, you can be zoned. All right, uh, you apparently are intelligent. So please leave. And then, Gray, please release it. I don't want it um, mowing down on my food because I can't, you know, I don't want to feed an iguana for fun. Maybe at some point, when we're rich and wealthy, we can have pet iguanas for funsies, but obviously that point is not now. Hey, a, a pod crash. A, oh, you believe in androidism? The hell? Well, the, uh, I guess I'll make it swift.
Hey, Panda, thank you for the resub, by the way. And uh, Marvin as well. Oh, Techie, you should be farming. Bye-bye, guy. Here, I'll, 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 uh, I'll haul him over so I can burn him more easily. You have been terminated. Okay, advanced creatures. Got it. So, there is another thing for me to, to ask you all. Uh, what creatures should I focus on? So, there are three ranching creatures. There is the Robo Chicken, which makes the Chemfuel-y eggs. There is the, um, the Wooly Photo Miner. And then there's the End Solution Cow. What creatures to ranch? Chickens, cows, I'm going to call them llamas. Uh, chickens and llamas. Chickens and cows. Cows and llamas. A bit of all of them. Alrighty. What should a ranch? Right there. Yeah, you get you get wool from the llama ones. You get nutrient. You get like a, a consumable nutrient paste type thing from the cows, and then the chickens give um, chem fuel and determine eggs. They all have their own benefits. Uh, so, Techie, you are growing. Oh, no, you are recharging. But then you're growing. Up here, I want this to be raw resources that are not plant matter. Or silver, gold, jade, plasteel. Uranium. So basically steel, wood, and stone. And then down here, uh, everything except for stone, wood, and steel. So that the valuable stuff isn't stored here. Eventually, I'm going to move the batteries as well. I just don't have a spot to put them at the moment. And you see a bit of all of them. Uh, I think what I'll do... Is I'm going to have Gray... Reso... This will take a little bit of micromanagement, but... Reso basically where I've harvested. Oops, that was a drop SMG. That's not what I wanted to do. Just to get his plant up to four so he can make an implant. Because that's going to be a really powerful tool for Techie. It, uh, those implants give a ridiculous... Oh, no, 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 don't do that. They give a ridiculous amount of, um, of uh, yield boost. So it turns a farm into uh, quite the crazy bonus. Did I... Uh, yeah, alright. Thanks, light. That's that's useful. And now we're starting to botch because we're in the dark. All right, there's our first harvest of rice. So it looks like uh, a bit of all of them. I will get one of each for now. So let's get a chem process unit with gray. This is the robo chicken. And then uh, I am going to set up a home zone for them, a ranch zone. Uh, I don't want them eating my drugs, though. Hmm. Hmm. I need a ranching area. It's the only, uh, the only solution. I think for now, uh, I am going to put them in the workshop area. Because I don't want them having access to drugs. Because they might just consume them. So, rice, I will put here as a important priority. Because I don't want to put them in the farm because they'll just eat the seeds out of the farm. And that's very inefficient. So I am going to create a ranch zone. And the robotic uh, animals here are intelligent. So they don't need a pen. Pens not needed. So I'll let them just uh, wander around this area for now. And wrap that up. All right, and there you go. The next research poll once advanced creatures are done. So 
So here is the Robo Processing Unit, and this one is gonna be raffled off, but the raffle is here on Twitch. This is a non-character, uh, so it's just any subscriber that is active in the chat. And let me reset the eligibility right now. So I'm actually gonna reset that raffle timer. There we go. So subscribers in the chat, you're eligible for this chemical processing unit. So this is CPU one. And these little robo chickens here uh, eat rice or organics. So their diet can be seen here. Rice, raw meat, corpses, seeds, live plants, meals, processed food, liquor, kibble. Uh, one of the things I could do in the future is to freeze bodies for them to eat. So if I build a, uh, a, a corpse ranch, we can have them eat corpses and not crops. Possibly. But uh, yeah, there we go. For now, we're going to feed them the rice, though. And you guys want me to do multi-analyzer next. Copy that. I'm going to flick on my wood fire Jenny because my batteries are looking a little low. We've been adding a lot of stuff to our power grid, but not a lot of power generation. It is also three in the morning, which means this Warhammer project can continue. So let me force Gray to finish this off because he's not maxed for the day anymore. Oh, excellent Warhammer. I can get behind that. Fantastic. I'm also going to haul slag here, too. Hey, Sylvanti, you're welcome for the content. Oh, man, you're almost at two, two years? I remember when you were in the original Wendigos. Doesn't feel that long ago to me, but um, I suppose it is, right? So multi-analyzer. Got that. And we have about a two and a half minutes left on the chicken giveaway. And then I'm currently researching uh, for the other two animals, the cow-like animal and the alpaca llama-like animal. The cow animal is definitely a cow. The, like, photo mining unit, it's pretty unclear what it is exactly. Kind of looks like a dromedary, kind of looks like a llama, kind of looks like a alpaca. You'll see. But they will also be raffled off on Twitch only. I do have a tiny little gold node that I can hit, which is here. Ooh. Isn't that ex Oh, wait, no, that's old. So here you go. You can see the CPU unit uh, eating rice. These guys don't use egg, bo egg boxes, so there's no point in setting up egg boxes for them. Just an FYI, if you were wondering. They aren't coded to use it because they haven't been updated or something. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm, I'm not the... Designer of Android Tears. And what I want to do is I don't want to add in too many, um... I don't want to add in too many animals to the... To, to the ranch that I can't support. So, I'm gonna hold off on, uh, expanding our ranch. But let's... Get the end solution and the photo miner up. One of each. So this is an end solution. The nutrient solution animal. And Panda's just about done hitting this uh, steel here, out here. I should also move the revolver. Oh, there's nowhere to store it. I need to, I need to expand the base a bit more because we're running out of room. I feel like I've used room pretty efficiently here, but even then, you know. So this raffle above me is for actually both animals. It's going to be for the end solution as well. So here's our little robo cow. Name you cow. And it's going to use battery. Which means it won't eat. Uh, it won't eat rice. It will recharge on the Android charging station. And it produces a sort of milk. 
Uh, where is that here? It produces a nutrient solution, which is a high nutrition value milk. And they're cute. Okay, good luck. So the chicken goes to Bot Maniac. Oh, what a perfect name for a little robo chicken. If you want to rename it from Bot Maniac to something else, just let me know. But I'm going to camel case your name there. And then um, just at tag me so that you can get my attention if you do want to rename it. And then Phoenix, you get the cow. Congrats to both of you. You're officially little androids. So then the last one is the photo miner, and this photo miner requires more components than I currently own. So let's remedy that. Fearphobia, thanks for the sub. Can I show uh, filth rate for robot animals? Yeah, sure. So uh, the filth rate here is 1.0 for the Phoenix and 1.0 for the Bot Maniac, or for the both of them. They have a normal filth rate of 1.0. Of course, humans have a filth rate of 1.0, so it's really no different than having androids. I also have the, um, the adjustable uh, filth mod on, this adjustable dirt chance. So in the home area, it's a lot lower. So I'm not gonna have to clean up after them constantly. You're welcome. Speaking of cleaning up, let me add this to the home zone. And we're never going to be able to smooth that. And we can't smooth that with this wall here, so I got to delete the wall. Alright, I need to make sure that the ranch doesn't allow them to go near my meals. And Panda's getting the components for the last little llama. And once I make the llama, I'll have a giveaway for it. Actually, let's, uh, I'll queue up the giveaway now for that llama. Because we know we're going to make at least one. So there's the giveaway timer. And for you to be able to vote in this giveaway timer, rather than just to type something arbitrary, I'm going to let you pick the next research here. So here is some options for next research and voting for this next research will also make you eligible for the giveaway. Okay, we have 16 components. That is enough for the photo miner. We are, however, down to only 40 Plasteel. So unless I send a uh, panda out here to get some Plasteel, we're going to be very limited as to our robot building. I do have the ability to make uh, Tier 2 androids, though. So if we take a look at a Tier 2 android, they require uh, some gold, which I could mine, and Plasteel more than I currently have. But we do have the ability to start making Tier 2 androids. Uh, whether you think we should make tier 2 androids or not can be left up to you, or alternatively I could save for tier 3 androids. So the tier 2 androids are a little... Their capabilities are slightly be below human. Humans are a little faster, a little stronger, a little smarter than tier 2 androids. Tier 3 androids is when you start to get a little bit better than humans, and then tier 4 androids is what Gray is at, is like human times 2. As a shortcut. So tier four is really what we're aiming for, for everybody, if, if possible. So here's the little uh, photo miner. Uh, what do you think? It's a llama? Eh, maybe a sheep? It's kind of like a llama sheep. Llama sheep. And it also uses battery power. It's got a sheep head and... Oh, hello. You are not <laughs> allowed to wander. My day has been well. Oh, I missed a hydrate, didn't I? Well, 
Where'd the music go? No, oh, the song just ended. It'll be back. And it looks like shields are winning to do after multi-analyzer. Uh, these, this rice is 100% grown, so I'm going to get Techie to harvest it. Shields, got it. Puppy treats. Will do. Androids dream of electric sheep after all. <laughs> so, question. Should we construct a T2 android or wait for T3? So the real disadvantage, in my opinion, of the tier two androids is they don't come with a personality, so they aren't of our ideology, which means we can't benefit from any ideologies. And they learn slower and they have less, they have like a, a lower amount of skill. So they're basic robots. I mean, Techie and Panda are basic robots. Um, or we could wait for tier three. And then the other question is, when we have access to tier threes, do we upgrade Techie and Panda to three or do we introduce new androids at tier three, there's going to be the case to do one or the other. So there you go. In either case, we are getting pretty cl we're, we're closing in on the requirements that we need to start growing our pop. So the news is good. All right. Panda here is almost done getting a nice haul of components and let's clean up that zone. So it looks like we weren't ever there. There's a little bit of an infestation risk here in this uh, steel node, but not, not that bad. I think I have a thousand steel. I'm not going to worry about adding more mining zones for now. And it looks like you guys say wait for tier three. Got it. So now that I have a ranch, cheers. Now I've got a ranch, we gotta vote for the next priority. What should the priority be? Long range mineral scanning. Expanding the base for a ranch setting up defenses running trade or viewer suggestions what do you guys think so long range mineral scanner will allow us to secure a pseudo renewable source of plasteel and Uranium, silver, gold, you know, whatever resources we need to build androids. Um, expanding the base for a ranch would be good to have a proper place for these animals that isn't just our crafting room, because it what it's doing is it's making our workshop awful, which is also our rec room. So we're losing some morale bonuses. Uh, setting up defenses would be good because, um, you know, I could be attacked by a devastating force at any time. I don't control that. So um, there is danger and risk there of not doing it. And uh, running trade, I do have some value that I could bring to others, you know, some trade good value. So there's the possibility of that as well as a as a goal. I guess I could have included raid a um, how about I how about I include that? Hang on. Raid an enemy temporary site. I do have a little bit of food, so I, I can get out there. And there. Now I actually put a timer in that. So there's a hunting worksite and a logging worksite. 
that I could raid to. And it looks like um, expanding the base for a ranch is currently the winning option, so I will, uh, I'll have Panda start mining for that. And don't worry, Panda. Someday you won't be our dedicated miner. As soon as I get a miner that has, like, proper mining arms, Panda's not even going to be close to the best. Because the proper mining arms is, um, can make you ridiculously capable. Uh, Gray may have just harvested some, but oh well. I'm also going to do a run of uh, chem fuel. So I'm going to make chem fuel from organics, specifically from rice. Oops. Hang on. Rice. Because I want to be specific about it. Get that on. And... I'm gonna make two batches of this stuff. Just so that I don't run out of rice. So this chem fuel here is so that we have some chem fuel in our generators. So that if I run low on power, I can flick on the chem fuel power generators and produce at least 3,000 watts. The wood fire generator is decommissioned now. Bye bye. And then that leaves space for the multi-analyzer. Or alternatively, uh, probably to move this bench to fix this stupidity here. I think I'm gonna do that as soon as um, multi-analyzer is finished researched. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. Build a ranch. And Byron, thanks for the gifted subs, by the way. Am I... No, I'm not on max time yet. Good. There's still time to deprive you of androids. <laughs> Alright, great. Get back to research. Can I move a research bench? No, I'd have to break it down. It's only steel and components, of which neither are particularly... <laughs> Thank you, Randall Thor. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, steel and components, which aren't particularly difficult to come by. So I can just have Panda come out here and mine them if need be. I could also set um, gray... Should gray help... Build the ranch or research. Obviously, if he's helping to build the ranch, it goes faster. If he's researching, then I unlock more research faster. It's, again, up to you. See, Fee and Randall Thor. Thank you for gifting and resubbing as well. Even more gifts. Jesus. Hey, Yoda. Hey, buddy. How long does this hype train take to reset? You know, I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to Google it. You'd think I'd know by now, but no. So, we are going to... Here is our first chemical capsules. Uh, laid by the, the hen. By Bot Maniac. So, let's... um. Make deuterimine from chem capsules up to 30. So we get some neutrimine. Because in default RimWorld, there is no renewable source of newt. So Bot Maniac's helping to make neutrimine out of nothing. Or out of rice, rather. Oh, Techie, I don't... I don't want you to grow. I want Gray to grow. And Gray, I don't want you to sunbathe. Although that did look comfortable. Once Gray hits plants four, I won't care anymore. 
I just want him to hit a minimum of four. The other thing I could do is to add in some additional benches to speed up the process. And more benches allows me to get more animals too. Now Phoenix and Llama, oh, uh, Llama Sheep, you were, did I never raffle Llama Sheep? I guess I never did. Shona, congrats. I fail at listening to my own alerts. You are the Llama Sheep. These guys draw battery power. So I don't need to add rice for their sake. But one of the reasons to add rice is when we are caravanning and traveling to uh, long-range mineral scan sites, we're going to need food because we can't rely... I mean, I guess I could unplug a battery and bring batteries with me, but that's just kind of ridiculous. So ranch it is. Research room is powered down. And gray here is going to help with the ranch. Let me just clean up this mining site. And then ignore. Once we're out of there, I can remove it from a home zone. So let me clean up my home zones. There we go. Frostlamb, thanks for gifting out a sub. And Crimson Rust as well. And you, my friend, are going to get timed out. I don't know if that was a... a joke or not, but... Uh-uh. Um, Buying follower spam is a big old no-no. I think you probably knew that. Um, okay, so yeah, here we are. Uh, working on the ranch a little bit more. Or the farm, rather. To make the ranch better. Thralls preparing a while. There is four of them. Now, one of the things about these Thrall, the Tier 1 Thrall, is they're slow. So... I'm gonna go murder them right now. The heat is obviously... You know what? I'm gonna actually wait a little while, because the, they're preparing a while, and the heat is gonna take a bit of a toll and slow them down due to heat stroke even more. So the longer I wait, the better it is. So I'm gonna schedule everybody to stay... Inside, but let me update the inside zone because I haven't done that in a while. Oh, is this fight music? We haven't heard a lot of fight music yet, have we? There we go. Now we're nice and illuminated. It's a little weird to have fight music when they're actually not attacking me, though. But oh well. Uh-oh. You have not been adding to your battery. Oh, you know what? They aren't adding to their battery. I'm going to let them eat rice. Let me go rescue them, though. Sorry. No, don't use pemmican. There we go. You're okay. Wool growth has been terrible as a result. All right, so there, I'll put them all on a rice solution instead. You dig the soundtrack and you're super pick, picky about music? Thanks. I'm pretty picky about music, too. All right, here comes the Thrall. So let's deal with Ryan, George, Max, and Sebastian. You guys do not have bot names. Prepare to be terminated. Yes. Bring me the head of the Robot King. Oh, and these idiots are attacking dude, uh, junk, because I love it. 
Oh, compacted machinery. Cool. Great. It would help if you hit stuff with your gun there, buddy. But at least they can't chase me. I don't think the... Oh, no. The heat stroke is uh, lowering the consciousness. Oh, my lord. There we go. Oh, Jesus. All right. They're eating now. Pretty good renewable source of plasteel, I guess. Oh, no, don't get stabbed. Run. Luckily, his manipulation is probably at, like, zero because of all the injuries. Oh, you're down. Well, guess what? You are also guilty and you're going to die. I'm not allowed to convert these bots, but it's it's pretty rare that, well, not rare. It's uncommon that they go down, but not dead. So Max is up here. Sebastian's way up there. Uh, we are going to carry these guys. And then we'll go hunting again. So, the milk fullness, 54%. Wool, 7%. It's coming. Uh, gray, let's have you force recharge. So I can go hunting. Let's go for Max. Who's making... Uh... He's making marble for us. Thanks for the marble. Obviously, it's lower yield than deconstructing, but still, kind of nice. There's also a piece of this monument that is just in here. Why do I keep getting uh, spamming? Jesus. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Shield, for slopping that down. And they're fleeing. Where is he? Uh, Sebastian made it out. Let's grab the marble blocks. I should have switched who was carrying, because Techie could have... Yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, oh well. Well, a little bit of a little bit of combat. As you can see, the forces are growing. So, we are still working on the ranch. Um, what I think I might end up doing is putting a door here. Maybe here. I'll have to figure out exactly where the door is going to go, but put a door there so that we can um, we can easily deliver rice. But the ranch will probably be down in this section here, unless there's no, it's all overhead mountain. So yeah, probably in this section. Uh, if you're wondering about the temperature tolerances of these animals, uh, oh, negative 100 Celsius, negative 100 Celsius. Negative 70 Celsius. They are not at risk of freezing uh, really at all. So if I super cool the base, they're fine. And Thrall be gone. So Gray, are you at four yet? Nope, not yet. Low food. Okay, I probably will add some additional ranching because these guys are going through my rice a little fast. Oh, product wasted. Uh, stop that. Techie! Put the knife away. No, get, stop hauling. 
Harvest. <laughs> Harvest. <laughs> he was like, I refuse. Is it a priority thing? No, it's not a priority thing. I just need to cue the plant cut. Let's mine out a little bit more. And Gray, you are about halfway to four. Good. Now I did just destroy my nice steel surplus uh, trying to add some additional basins and I'm just going to keep adding uh, basins because these guys are eating rice like there's no tomorrow which means panda is going to have to pivot to going uh, mining outside for um for steel in a minute. Oh, Manhunter pack of guinea pigs. <sighs> well, let's lock ourselves in. Is everyone home? Uh, Techie, get home. Oh, my power is also terrible. Holy cow. Uh, gray. Turn on the chems. notice that. So Techie, come inside. Now, our ideology pro prohibits us from killing innocent animals, but uh, manhunter animals are not innocent. However, I don't really, it doesn't really serve me to kill these guys. Yes, I guess I could feed their corpses to my uh, pets, but for now, I'm just going to let them live. Now, one thing that we're, we're looking for in a ranch is an ability to have a freezer zone. So I might want to keep mining until I find enough uh, thin roof for me to set up a freezer so I can store corpses for the pets to eat uh, so that they don't have to eat rice. Because that way I can turn the rice into biofuel. Or into chem fuel, rather. Which is probably a better use for it. So much squee noises. Isn't most of the base going to be a freezer? Uh, it depends. Yeah, I mean, I could start to deep freeze it. Let's see how cold these two coolers can bring it down. And then I can uh, replace this marble door with a, a steel one or maybe even an auto door. Uh, once I have auto door tech. So that it opens and closes quickly and that way uh, we don't bleed temperature. God, this noise is ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm officially out of rice. Ooh, transport crash. Get pigged. You're not even going to get back up. So, I see that the animals are a little hungry. Uh, the, the milk fullness is probably going to trigger here in a second, so you'll see the first nutrient milk solution that we get. Gray, you really should not be the one harvesting. I'm going to forbid this door to lock him out for a moment. Are they going to overheat or they sleep first? Uh, well, they don't overheat very easily. They're comfortable into 55C, it's 58C, so it's just at their upper limit, which means they're probably not going to get heat stroke. As a result, thank you for tuning in to Android Sanctuary, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 12th. 
Android Sanctuary is the February miniseries marathon winner, streamed live one time only, February 12th. If you would like to know more about the process of the miniseries or all of the series that I put out, the How Series Are Chosen link on my website, radamont.com, will fill you in on the details. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series is over. It only streams live once, so suggestions cannot be incorporated. If you would like to join my gaming community, radamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, and stay safe out there, androids.